Um, in closing, I got a question, man. If you if you had to give like a one sentence piece of advice to somebody who was brand new, what would that be? Yeah, man, we hit on it. I, I, I tell people this all the time, man. It, it's it's you know we, we we joked about it earlier, but real estate is super flexible, right? You guys talked about land deals. You talked about table funding, right? I talked about small bank financing. I talked about cross collateralization. We talked about rentals, flips, and wholesales. Like, there's all these ways to get a bag in real estate. And that's super cool. But when you're new, that's also super overwhelming, right? Like, because you don't know where to focus. Like, you don't know what to go learn, right? And, and what I tell people is exactly what we talked about. Filter out all that noise. Because there is one common denominator that you need for any of that crap to work. And you need a good deal. If you're not buying a good deal, your disposition strategies don't exist. So just don't worry about anything. Literally, turn everything else off. Figure out what does a good deal look like in the market I want to go buy deals in. Then figure out how you're going to go find those deals. For me, it was mail. For you guys, you know, it, it's SEO, right? Like you figured out based on what I have to spend, what tools I have in my tool belt, whether it be, you know, technology or, or just being a people person, right? You've got your finances, you've got your tools, you've got your personality. Those things, whatever whatever deal finding strategy fits those things the best, that's what you should focus on, right? So you don't have to go figure out how to be do text messages and ringless voicemails and cold calls and direct mail. Just figure out which one can I afford to fund properly? Which one will I know I'll stick to? A lot of people say cold calling works, I'm gonna make cold calls. But if you don't like getting cursed out, and you're not going to call 100 people like you need to a day to get a deal, don't cold call. Don't lie to yourself. It doesn't fit your personality, right? So I pick mail because I, I don't mind getting cursed out from the few people that call and that are upset and everybody else wants, to, wants me to buy their house. So I like mail and I can fund mail appropriately and I know it works. And so that's what I stick to, right? So go learn, learn what a good deal looks like. And the best way to do that is get around people buying deals in that market. Go to every investor meetup meeting club facebook group craigslist group meetup.com group if an investors are gathering in your market get your butt in the room and then just go talk to somebody just go ask somebody hey man what's your last deal look like how much did you pay for it how much did you put into it what'd you sell it for man we love talking about how much money we made and how many deals we did investors will give you all that they'll tell you everything Right. And at the at the same time, you'll be building a relationship. So people love talking about themselves. So now you've gleaned all this information about what good deals look like in that market. And you've made a friend of somebody who's being active in that market. Both of those things are valuable. Now you know what good deals look like. Now you know how you're going to go find those deals. Go find a deal, man. Everything else will come into place.